take a picture of Jeffrey in my work where I work next. He's become an angel for me. So I love that. Now, there's something I want to read to you. The book is about toxic parents overcoming their hurtful legacy and reclaiming your life by Susan Foley, PhD, with Craig Buck. Toxic parents. Now, this book has a whole list of the types of toxic parents. Godlike parents, myth of the perfect parent. Just because you didn't mean it doesn't mean it didn't hurt the inadequate parents. Why can't they let me live my own life? The controlling parents. No one of this family is an alcoholic. The alcoholic parents. The bruises are all on the inside. The verbal Parents. Sometimes the bruises are on the outside too. The physical abuse of parents. The ultimate betrayal. The sexual abuse of parents. Okay, now you see why I bought this book. This is why my research. The healthiest member of the family. When I read that, I said, well, they got to be talking about me. Because I know that was right. Many people are shocked when I say that the incest victims I work with are usually the healthiest members of their families. After all, the victim usually has the symptoms of self play depression, destructive behaviors, sexual problems, suicidal attempts, substance abuse, while the rest of the family often seems outwardly healthy. Now that didn't describe the home that I grew up in, and what I say, I'm not crazy. Well see, it's all of them that had the issues. It is usually the victim who ultimately has the clearest vision of the truth. And if you look at the flies, on top of the flies it says, the truth, okay? We, the victims, live the truth. The truth. It's the families, it's the outsiders, it's those who want to turn a deaf ear. Mm. The victim is usually forced to sacrifice themselves to cover up the craziness and the stress of the family system. Mm. I'm sure there's someone out there who can relate to that. I know I did. I remember saying, oh, I can't tell mommy what daddy's doing. I was seven years old. Because if I tell mommy what daddy's doing, she's not going to feel like a woman anymore. Because then I'll be telling her that daddy left her bed and came to mine. And how she's going to feel. Seven years old, I got more of a passion for her than ever. I care more about protecting my mom than I do about protecting me because I don't know I need to protect her. All of their life, they're the bearer of the family secret. They live with tremendous emotional pain in order to protect the myth of the good family. But because of all this pain and conflict, the victim is used to the one. First to seek help. The parents, on the other hand, will always, will almost always refuse to let go of their denial and defenses. They refuse to deal with the reality. With treatment, most victims are able to reclaim their dignity and power. Recognizing a problem and seeking help is a sign of not only health but courage. I read that to say. We're all right. Those of us who have been raised as children, we're really okay. 
and nobody shall tell you different. 